Bloody Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 8, Jojo Leon Chapter 66. And I am so sorry this video is late between E3 and getting sick. I fell really behind on everything, but now I'm all caught up. So anyway, last chapter of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, um, we met uh, Mamazuke Rai and who is, you know, in charge of the plants and stuff like that. And we were just chilling in his place and everything like that. This, uh, this is just getting really even more bizarre. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. Uh, Mamasuke Rei, uh, Rai, 31, stand name, doggy style. Oh my god, his stand name is doggy style. Oh my god, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, really? <laughs> this man holds the key to plucking success. Yes, and he's going to help us. And this chapter is called The Plant Appraiser Part 3. How about the taste? What is this stuff? Uh, this strawberry Romanoff cream. Um, Josuke, is eating that making you cry? Um, yum! Glad to hear it. Is chamomile mint tea okay? Yeah, they're still eating in the sky, which I think is kind of cool. I'd be kind of scared, but at the same time, it's pretty sick. Uh, you really are a good guy. Uh, you so are. You have to be, um... Uh, have to be such a uh, you'd have to be to make such a wonderful dessert. Well, thank you. By the way, might either of you need to use the bathroom? There's one over um, on pole number six. Oh my God! There he's thought of everything. Holy crap! It's an all electric tank. Uh, all it's all electric, and the tank on top is drawing water. So there's water pressure and a bidet. What? He has a bidet out there? I don't even have a bidet in my toilet. That's fucking cool. Oh my god, look at this bathroom. So he, it's like, it's a flip open, like, it just flipped open, the panel flipped open, and there's a toilet, and there's a curtain. Like, I'd be kind of, uh, um, creeped out by this. Like, I don't know if I could go to the bathroom up there, that is just creepy. Um, you're fr uh, free to enjoy the view, but if you prefer, there's a uh, shower curtain. Yeah, I kind of would like my privacy on that. Um, let me ask this again. Do you really sleep up on this chairlift every night? And the mountainside is your orchard? This is just the kitchen and dining room. The entire chairlift is my home. What? Um, it's just a rental, though. Starting from the bottom, the first pole is where my analog records are, are stored. Um, I'm thinking about throwing away my laser discs. Wait, what? You, what year is this? <laughs> There's laser discs. Oh my god. I even, uh, yes, I know what laser discs are. They were before my time, but I know what they are. Um, every pole is equipped with speakers. The second pole is a library and winery. I want to see that library. Um, the third pole is a closet where I keep my shoes and clothing. How does that work? This is weird. Like, you would have to have, like, a revolving closet. Like, I could see if it was one of those, um... You know those things at the dry cleaners where they have, you know, where you have your clothes are and they're revol and it's revolving or whatever. That if it if it was that, I would not be surprised. Um, uh, so what do you think? But the fields look kind of kept. That's pretty true. Why is that? Um, hey, you know, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure you two will get it even if I explain it to you. But I don't remove the weeds from the mountainside. If you weed, then the fruit won't end up as good fruit. I don't understand, but maybe he will explain it. The strawberries um, around here have a roll. Um, have a roll. They're all foils. Uh, there are harmful insects and diseases lurking in places where weeds are flourishing, but I'm purposely letting insects and diseases attack the strawberries around here. By doing that, this makes them a good environment for the insects and diseases so they don't climb up, uh, climb any higher up the mountainside. Okay, this is good logic. I, I can understand that. Uh, the ones I harvest are just a bit above uh, above there. Because of that, I don't need any agrochemicals. The ones um, lower down are being attacked. So sensing that the higher up strawberries get frantic, so um, uh, yeah, strawberries get frantic, so they become big and sweet. That's pretty awesome. Uh, one pack of uh, my strawberries cost over ten thousand yen, and I harvest plenty of them. How about that? Maybe he is kind of a dickhead. <laughs> he kind of is a dickhead because 10,000 yen is a lot. Um, 
I feel for, for strawberries, that's a lot. Um, I feel real bad for them. Uh, the lower strawberries are getting sacrificed, but um, yum, <laughs> They're, that's insanely good. Humans started uh, engaging in agriculture approximately 10,000 years ago. Uh, at first, um, they grew wheat and green peas. From there, human civilization has been constantly developing. Right now, developments in science and technology, uh, terrain and natural environments, um, art, thinking, and economics seem to have thoroughly surpassed all limitations. Understand? Right now, I'm talking about the enemy. Ooh, well now here, we're getting to the good part, getting to the enemy. Uh, despite all that, there is a region which ever since the dawn of, hu of human civilization has remained unsolved. Um, a region that no kings or sages have ever been able to conquer. A region which sages gave up on trying to conquer and deemed accepting it to be un, um, unconquerable as correct. This is, that is uh, the region known as not dying. Well, yeah, aka immortality. That I'm surprised you didn't say uh, maternal youth either. But because immortality and eternal youth are kind of different. But whatever. But humanity had proof before that it exists at the cellular level. Interesting. This is the second mo uh, manga that's come out, as, or I should say, even say the second monthly that's come out that's talked about shit at the cellular level. So, first one was Dragon Ball Super. Um, the, me uh, the mechanism is, astounding, um, is astoundingly simple. Um, the equivalent exchange of cells. We've heard equivalent exchange before in alchemy, and now we're hearing it in cells. This is going to be interesting. Even set, uh, even setting moral issues aside, and like induced um, uh, pluripotent stem cells and cloning its simple replacement. By my calculations, the cellular replacement of an entire body can be done in just two hours. Whoa! That is freaking cool. I'm very... Oh, okay, I understand. So what it does is it basically, the cells, um, they're cloning and it's it's replacing the cells that are damaged. I'm guessing that's what it is. Like the cells that are, are dying or, um, or fuck, even cells that are dead and damaged cells. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, I understand that now. But that's fast. Two hours? Holy crap. Um, Jessica Khan, if the sages of this world witnessed, uh, witnessed you, what would they think about death? That's the region um, uh, we're talking about here. Now, what I'm about to say is purely my own conjuncture, but I think what the enemy wants isn't just one or two of the new uh, ro, uh, kakakas to sell to some rich folks and make a, uh, make a profit. Most likely, there are people that want to, at a scientific level, turn the ro, uh, ro, kaka, blah, ro kakaka into technology and keep it for themselves. The, um, yeah, uh, wait a minute. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Uh, the uh, IT industry alone makes $5 trillion a year. I think it's interesting that he mentions yen. for the, It's 10,000 yen for the strawberries, and we're talking dollars right now. Uh, U.S. dollars, so go figure. Um, what kind of world would an immortality industry be? They are the enemy. Oh, no, no, no. <sighs> this manga just went, the industry is the enemy. <sighs> Freaking A. Like, I fucking hate when media does this. Ugh. Some industry can be corrupt. Yes, that is true. And I understand, and I'm wondering if it's picking up on that scumbag asshole in the healthcare industry that, w or some of the scumbags in the healthcare industry that, like, for example, raised the uh, price of the EpiPen. Um, but luckily, the FDA recently came out, uh, approved a generic version that's going to low, uh, going to be a lower cost. But I think what would happen if there was an immortality industry? Oh man, it would. At first, it would be ex super expensive, of course. And then, as time goes on, there's going to be uh, more than likely there will be generics of it, which will lower the cost. But the thing is, and I kind of understand where he's talking about, it's kind of like playing God in a way. Um, so I kind of understand that aspect, but at the same time, like, don't say all industry is bad. Come on, manga. You're better than that. Um, they? Who are they? It's just a theory. They could be kings. They could be doctors. The enemy is them and the rock humans. Okay, I understand the rock humans being enemies, but the industry... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of, I will agree that there's corrupt people, but I don't know, man. I'm, <sighs> Rai, you're starting to sound like a hippie now. Jesus Christ. Um, 
do uh, doctors. What is the e what the enemy wants is uh, the new ro uh, kakaka fruit and scientific data on it. Though the only one that's able to harvest it from the um, from the branch on the uh, um, Higashikata estate is me, a farmer. I don't see anything wrong with turning it into data, but then, as the saying goes, about too much knowledge and fuck, it also goes about curiosity too. Um, I could see like, I, I don't know if I would say, in, in regards to immortality, yeah, I could kind of see maybe war starting over that, but I don't know. Uh, but, but the thing is, is that you can't play God like that. So at the same time, I kind of understand. As I said before, I understand. Uh, by the way, what's in the fourth pole from the bottom? It has a treadmill. God, this Rai is so goddamn efficient. I run on it, and it, that, it's got that and some dumbbells. In other words, uh, pole four is a gym. That's pretty badass. And there's the police. Uh, this road. What happened in this parking lot? Uh-oh, they showed up in the parking One of them's got to be a rock human. One of them's got to be a rock human. I would not be surprised. I can't get over to the bus. Call for backup. We're going to need backup here. <gasps> oh, oh my god. I'm getting sick from this. I knew it. Um, oh, looks like a patrol uh, car showed up down at the parking lot. God, that's so fucking nasty. But where are the officers? I don't see any police officers officers anywhere. Those trees are getting closer too. They're all the way to the lodge. Um, Mamazuka-san, um, are we waiting here at this cafe until the enemy arrives? Like I said, Jessica Khan, we're going. Uh, we'll be going to the eighth pole next. There, I have a way we can harvest uh, the fruit from the Rokakaka branch. I'm very curious because we remember there's equivalent equivalent exchange has been invoked. I'm very curious. If it says human blood is needed for the Rokaka Cup Ranch, I would not be surprised. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh no! <gasps> the truth they, they caught up, huh? Oh, oh man. This, this is the... When did the trees get this close? Oh my god. Zoro, 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 Zoro. Zoro, uh, Zoro, Zoro. Oh no! It's like micro- like if you look at this picture, or look at this panel, it's like microscopic! Oh my freaking god, this is so weird! Zoro, 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 Zoro! Um, the- the tree! When did it get below us and reach, um, reach up here? What are those things coming from the end of the branches? Uh, are they a stand? Zoro, I think it's weird that they're sick- their- their thing is called Zoro. That is weird as freaking hell. But- Okay, it's not as microscopic. Okay, they were microscopic on the finger, but they're getting bigger. This is kind of weird. Um, a stand is coming out from under the tree's bark. Uh, Sora, Sora. Oh my god. It's launching a fucking attack. What? Something's being shot at us. Um, Mamasuke saw in the chairlift. Um, this, uh, move it. Let's get out. Of, uh, this tree isn't the enemy. The, the tree is just, move it. Let's get out of here. A ladder, uh, to send their stands. <gasps> Okay, I gotta read this part again because I fucked it up. Mamasuke saw on the chairlift. Move it, let's get out of here. This tree isn't uh, the enemy. The tree is just a ladder to send in their stand. Oh my god, this is really, really... The, I will say this is really green. This is a very green stand, but she, shit, this is fucked up. Mamasuke saw, move the chairlift. The enemy, it's quite... <gasps> what? It's going into his body. Uh, It's quite serious. Oh my god, so this is like... A pack... Uh, well... It kind of reminds me of the other one that we just dealt with in a way, but, um, it's, it's like a, oh, that's the word I was like thinking of. It's a virus. Oh my God. Serious. Our uh, chance of survival has decreased to 7%. Yeah. Uh, soft and wet. God, the stand is just, oh, freezing. Soft and wet. Oh my gosh. Uh. Oh my God. Oh my freaking god. Uh, so, like, they're just trying to get uh, the chairlift moving. But, oh, uh oh. Mamasuke, Ray, oh no, Rai might die. Josuke, just, uh, Josuke, look at my left hand. Um, Kotan, uh, 
as per the promise you made to me when we were on the bus, you were going to make uh, protecting me your number one priority, right? That's what we agreed. Yeah, Yashua's, Yashua, you were right. This guy's a dickhead. Oh. Um, you, yet you covered Yashua first. I can understand being in the heat of the moment, but as a result, one of the tree branches that were attacking us touched my hand. Um, Kajuri, 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 touching the tree made the enemy stand come out from under the surface. It then entered my skin, and I could sense it climbing up from up my body. Now, the insides of my body are being polluted and melted. Oh my god, this is like a fucking, um... This is a bio-attack, Stan. Holy crap. Uh, now, the insides of my body are being polluted and melted, causing these holes to become bigger and bigger. Um, Mamasu uh, Mamasuke-san, uh, Josuke, promises are sacred. Uh, doggy style. Oh my god, did he just... <gasps> he cut off his left hand. Holy shit. But hold on, we gotta talk about this. what the Stan looks like here. The stand looks really robotic. A lot of the stand, like the stance in this, um, in this part of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I've noticed it. I don't know if you guys have noticed it. They all look like robots. It's weird. I miss the old stands. I really do. But whatever. Um, I've got no other choice. I'm abandoning, abandoning my left hand. It can't be brought back to normal. So with the sense, it's like gangrene in it, so to speak. Don't treat sacred things lightly. Otherwise, everyone, including Norisuke-san, is going to lose. I'm the first priority. Protect me. You seriously want to uh, harvest that Rokakaka fruit, right? Uh. Oh no. <gasps> what are you doing? Okay, she's okay. Uh, Gashua Chan's okay. Where's the enemy? Um, if the enemy isn't the moving tree, then maybe it's moving underground. Let's test that theory out. <gasps> oh man. What? Yashua Chan, a sacrifice? <gasps> I gotta bring up equivalent exchange because it definitely applies here. There's a promise. Gotta fulfill it. And there's got there's there's always gonna be a sacrifice. But jeez. This chapter was oh god, this stand is so fucked up. Oh my god, this stand is really, really fucked up. I mean it's causing like these viruses to go in the body and dissolve like this like rot away your body. That is so oh god, this is so crazy oh my god what did you guys think of this chapter i'm really curious especially industry like oh, come on man like stop the hippie shit um i don't want hippie shit in my manga anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerdigan zinc if you love what i'm doing and want to contribute to the nerdigan zinc expansion there's a few ways you can do that you can donate to the nerdigan zinc paypal patreon or purchase something off the nerdigan zinc amazon wishlist all those links are in the description uh description box below and um, also make sure you follow me on the Twits, aka Twitter. Follow my Twitch channel from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!